Valorant is a great game, it runs on just about everything and in most cases does give good performance, but it's not perfect. My name is Yudullah, you're watching Candido Technology and if Valorant freezes your PC on startup, you've come to the right video. So generally speaking, Valorant is quite stable, but if it is crashing your PC on startup, the first thing that you need to do is to stop running background apps. Unnecessary background apps consume a lot of memory and can cause a lot of problems in the future. So the way you do this is just right click the start menu and in here select the task manager. Now once this opens up all you have to do is uh, click on the name so that you can sort apps by their name or if they're a background process. Go through the background processes and just close anything that isn't required. For example, I don't require all of this HP analysis stuff, I can probably close Intel Unison and a bunch of other services that are running in the background and consuming CPU and memory. The next solution you should try out is to stop overclocking at all. Now this will vary based on what kind of overclocking tool you're using, uh, if you're overclocking in BIOS, if you have a laptop, if you have a PC. So I can't give you specific instructions, but I can tell you that if you're overclocking your system, try bringing it down, ha try having a little bit more system stability so that when you're trying to run Valorant, the game doesn't require too much resources and doesn't hog up everything so that your system freezes. The next step is to try and run Valorant as uh, an administrator and with full screen optimizations turned off. The way you do this is uh, you search for Valorant and then in the start menu you click on the open file location option. This will take you to this shortcut. We're going to right click it and click on open file location again. Now in here you will see your uh, riot client services.exe. This is the executable for your riot client. We're not going to work with this. We are going to write games, double clicking on Valorant, live, and we're going to use the valorant.exe file. Right click this, click on properties, head over to compatibility, and you will see both the full screen optimizations and administrator options right here. Make sure both of these are checked, go ahead and click apply, then click OK and uh, try restarting Valorant. Now we don't recommend doing this because disabling your antivirus can put you at a lot of risk. But if Valorant is using too many system resources, it could be possible that your antivirus is trying to scan Valorant as it's running in the background. So that's two heavy processes countering each other. Try disabling your antivirus, then running Valorant again to see if that fixes the problem. And if it does, it's probably time for you to get another antivirus. Another important thing while you're disabling your security software is to make sure that you take a look at Valorant specs. I will put a spec sheet on the screen right now so that you can see. Chances are you already know what Valorant specs are so you don't really need to worry about this, this one too much but if by any chance you're missing any of the specs just make sure you get your system in line. Moving on the next thing you're going to do is update your GPU drivers. Now Based on uh, whether you have an Intel, AMD or Nvidia GPU, the update path is going to be different. I have an uh, Nvidia GPU, so I'm going to use GeForce Experience. So go ahead and launch GeForce Experience by heading over to your system tray. Uh, right clicking the Nvidia icon as soon as the Steam notification goes away and then clicking on GeForce Experience. This will open up the GeForce Experience window and in here we are going to the Drivers tab. Now click on check for updates which is on the other end and you will see a small window telling you whether you have the latest driver available or not. If you don't, obviously it's best that you update your driver immediately and whatever your Intel or AMD utility tells you to do. So just make sure that you have the latest game ready driver and then you'll most likely be good to go. So the next thing for you to try out is a clean reboot. A clean reboot essentially closes all non-essential Microsoft services that run when your Windows computer starts so that nothing gets in the way of you launching a specific program. The way we're going to do this is pressing Windows key plus R to bring up the run prompt. And in here, I am going to type in msconfig. Uh, just msconfig. Press enter and this window will appear. Head over to the startup tab, uh, actually the services tab. 
um and then click on disable all this will disable uh, the hundreds of services that run when your system starts up so this will make uh, mean that uh, a lot of the times your um, functionalities or additional features might stop working uh, to avoid any windows crashing just make sure you check on hide all microsoft services so all essential services or all microsoft services are gone so to speak because there's a good chance we're not going to see a problem in them and then you'll be left with all the third party accessory uh, accessories not accessories services simply go ahead click on disable all and uh, then click apply and then okay and then restart your system then try launching valorant again if it works this time there's a good chance that some of your background services are causing this problem so you're going to have to go back to step number one and close the background app before you launch the game the next time the next step is that you need to try and lower your valorant game settings this is because there's a good chance that Valorant might be running at high settings and consuming too many of your system resources, which is causing your system to crash. Now to do this, the first thing that we're going to do is head over to this settings icon, come back here and then click on settings. In here, head over to video, then graphics quality. And depending on how good your system is, set this to either medium or low and uh, improve clarity of bloom, distortion, cast shadows, all of this, just turn it off. Um, cast shadows might give you a competitive disadvantage, but you need the game to run to be able to play competitively in the first place, right? So uh, just try lowering these uh, settings. You can also try lowering the resolution if you think that's going to help. And uh, once you've toned down the settings, so to speak, come back to the game and then try uh, running it again so this way it won't take up all of the resources that are uh, on your system and then windows just doesn't have anything left to use finally if nothing else works your best bet is to go ahead and reinstall valorant from scratch doing this is very easy you can do this via windows apps so right click the start menu and then head over to installed apps give this a second to load search for valorant it's right here go all the way to the other side click on the three dots click uninstall windows will give you a warning we know what we're doing so we're going to click uninstall again then head over to riot's website re-download the client and then reinstall the game from scratch if you like these videos consider subscribing give us a thumbs up press the bell icon and tell us in the comments below what more such content can we make for you if you'd like to know more about tech visit our website candid.technology Follow us on social media, follow me on Instagram and Twitter and we'll see you in the next video.